So let's go ahead and get started on sharing Google Photos. So this is pretty easy actually. Just type in at the top there photos.google.com and go ahead and hit enter. Now it's important to note that these also Google Photos comes available on Android and Apple devices, but let's just go ahead and go to the Google Photos now uh, that we have on our system here through this Chrome browser. You should be asked to enter in your password. Go ahead and do so, and that should enter you right into your account. So as you can see here, we've gone ahead and entered in right into our Google Photos account. So there's a couple things that we can do here. We can go to albums or photos themselves, but I think the easiest thing for us to do is to go ahead and we can take a look and see what we have here. But let's go to our albums here. When we go to our albums selected right there, we're going to see in Google Photos does a nice job of being able to organize things. So for example, if you want to organize things based on places, you can do places. Uh, you can do it by people themselves, right? So here I've gone ahead and given an example to label Chanel's picture here. If I wanted to label somebody else's picture, for example, let's say Maria here, I can just click on this and say Maria Lush. And then every time that I want to search for Maria's photos, now I have all of her photos in here. And I can see and I can create albums from just pictures that Maria is in. So I can sort based on that and I can share albums. So let's go ahead. Now these are albums that I've already created, but we're going to walk through how to create a shared album as well. So there's two options here. One, when you hit create, you can create an album itself right here. So you just click on here and say, I want to create an album. The other option from your, your albums here, remember we were here in shared. So I just went ahead and clicked on this back button here. From your albums button, you can say here, I want to create an album. So I want to create a shared album or a collage or an album. Remember, we want to create a shared album at this time. So we're just going to go ahead and click on shared album. Now here we can go ahead and just cruise through things that we want to see. Now notice here on August 21st, these are all pictures of Chanel and um, and family members. So we're just going to click on there and we're going to see all that. Now here are some additional photos from August 20th. So we're going to click on that as well because we want those. And then here's from a trip in July. So we're going to click on those. So all three of these pictures, and by the way, we could click on just a single photo as well, but we're choosing to take the entire date range. All right, so we've got everything that we want at that point. We're just going to go ahead and create an album. Now it's creating the album here, and it's going to give us an opportunity to name this album. Okay, so here, as you can see, we've got all the photos in there, and we're just going to name this album Chanel. All right, and we'll put zero to six months. All right, so... Um, so we've named that, and we're just going to go ahead and hit share right up here. So remember, you can pick any photo that you want in this in this creation of a shared album. Now we're going to go ahead and share this. Now notice here we've got an MSN account, and we've also got Nick here with a Yahoo account, and he also has a Google Photos account. So if we say Google Photos account, we can either choose to send it to his Photos account, or we can send it to him individually. Now, if we send it to him to his Google Photos account, then that means that when, when Nick pulls up his Google Photos, this album will automatically be part of his albums, uh, which will be nice. He doesn't have to do anything extra. So we're going to go ahead and click that as an option. And then here we're going to click on this MSN so I can show you what it looks like in an email message here. And we're going to say here cute pictures of Chanel and family okay so um, and we'll put here shared on Google pictures alrighty there we go and then we just simply hit go and now that 
has sent out those photos. Now, one thing before we flip from here is now that I have these photos set up, how do I manage this to make sure that if I want to discontinue sharing with somebody, I can do that or want to change their permission or what have you. It's pretty simple. At any time, we can click back on this album and then we see this here. We can click on this and we can say, um, I don't want to let them do this. I don't want to let them do that. I want to take off sharing completely. Whatever it is, I don't want to let them do comments on the photos. Yeah, I can do anything I want here or stop sharing with that individual altogether. And remember, they have an opportunity here to add comments related to these photos as well. So that's kind of nice. Now, this is the email message that I received. Notice here, uh, this is the title that I put on there, Google Photos. Now, here we have Google Photos. And remember, this is shared with an MSN user account. The reason why I point this out is because here we don't want to be signed in to any Google account at this point. See, notice that there's no sign in here because we want to test to make sure that sharing these photos with people that do not have Google accounts uh, will still be able to see them. So let's go ahead and flip back to that email account and see what happens. So here again, we have the photos here and it gives us a preview of all of those photos. And now we're gonna just say, view this album. Now remember, I wanted to emphasize that we could also be receiving this on our phones if we had these apps. So if we receive this invite, we would see this in our Google Play or our App Store app. But here on this browser, which would work on a Chromebook or any type of browser, we're gonna go ahead and just simply hit view album. Now once we view the album, the thing, everything is gonna is gonna pop up. Now, notice here it's prompting me to sign in, but let's say that I didn't ever use Google, I may not see that box, and I don't want to sign in. I just want notice here, there's nobody signed in. I just want to look at the pictures, and I can do that pretty easily. But notice here that because I'm not signed in, I don't have any rights to add comments. I can't do anything with these pictures, but I certainly can look at them. And then notice here, it also shows who else can see those pictures. Now, this is one caution that you might want to be aware of. At any time, any user that you invite can go ahead and, um, and copy this URL and share these photos with anybody. Now, this isn't really a problem for most people because you're sharing these photos with people you trust and loved ones and they're not going to go ahead and share it. But let's say you did share it with, you know, Aunt Susie and now she wants to uh, share those files with Uncle Mike. No problem. She doesn't necessarily, Aunt Susie doesn't necessarily have to go back through you to share these files. She can just come up here and hit copy and uh, the, the link will be copied and then she can send it out to other people. You can also at any point remove yourself. Notice I don't have any control over anybody else, but I can remove my invite if I choose to do that. Just to summarize what we've built here, let me go ahead and go back. I've gone back to photos.google.com and I've been prompted here for my username again. Remember that URL is photos.google.com. Now I've gone ahead and signed in again, and here we're going to go ahead and just simply select albums. Okay, now you notice here that we have multiple albums here, but this is the album that we recently shared right here. And notice here that it indicated, indicates that it is shared. Here I'm going to click on shared once again, and I'm going to see again that that is shared. If I want to add another album, which is a little different, I can click here and say add. And let's say I wanted to create this album as a share. I would just find the pictures, hit create, and now that's going to add that as a shared album. I can just say what it is, right, business cards, and just hit share and share it the same way. So as you see here, there are multiple ways to share albums with other people. You can do that easily. And notice here that I've got this, you and them, and then it tells me who it is. And so, again, I can disconnect this share at any time uh, that I want to by just simply going up here and saying stop sharing. And I'm going to stop that permanently. And now, if you look back, I'm just using this little back arrow here. If I go to my shared photos, 
it's gone. So this is a pretty easy and simple way to share your Google Photos, especially if you're uploading a lot of photos. You don't have to share everything. You just have to take a minute, go through those photos that you really want to share with others, click on them, and away you go. It's pretty simple. I think you'll enjoy it, and I know that your extended family members will enjoy it as well.